Hey, how are you, everybody? Welcome back to the Marketing Minute with Ron Coleman of RCS Online Solutions. Uh, today is tip number six on the 10 SEO tips for 2021. Today is uh, number six, assess, adapt, and execute uh, on the Marketing Minute show with Ron Coleman. I created these series, uh, 10 tips for SEO, uh, uh, tips for 2021. I have some for digital marketing, a series of 10. I have a series of 10 for content marketing, and I have a series of 10 for social media. I'm putting together a series of 10 for video marketing and some other uh, things to help uh, business owners and entrepreneurs achieve even greater success going forward. However, what I'd like uh, you to understand is what I'm doing is I'm doing this, um, I'm breaking it all up into bite-sized pieces. So instead of giving you all 10 tips at one time where you have to sit there for 45 minutes and, you know, sometimes it's kind of long for one tip and you know then you're just starting to wrap your head around it and i've moved to tip two or three or whatever the case may be so i'm going to give them individually and what this does too from a marketing standpoint instead of doing one series of 10 tips uh, that's one piece of content right maybe you get the video the transcripts and you can turn it into three but by me doing all the tips as one as, as a whole that's one but then each individual one that's 10 so that's 11 pieces of content and then i share them on you know right now it's going live on uh, multiple platforms and then later i will take it from youtube put it on my website take that link and then share it to multiple platforms so i'm telling you this because this is a great way of doing SEO as well, because all these links are going to be cross-linked and, and posted and I'm, link, I'm pulling them from my website. I'm not sending people to YouTube to see the video other than the live. I'm pulling these uh, from all, on all my social media posts going forward is coming from my website, that link. So when they click the link to view the video, it will take them to my website. So you always want to bring them back. So. Uh, this one's very important because, as we know, with uh, all the things that are going on in, in the COVID C19 wor world, I uh, don't want to use certain words because I don't know if it will knock the entire video out. But with the C19 world, uh, a lot of things have changed. A lot of businesses have closed. A lot of businesses have changed the way that they've done work and are doing work, right? So you have to assess, adapt, and execute differently today than you did before drastically differently i mean the entire world of business and marketing has changed and it's never going to be the same you know even when we get back to the uh, nlp crap when they talk about new normal that's just nlp programming talk right but uh, even when we allegedly get back to that new normal things will never be normal so uh, you need to prepare to work harder than ever to assess adapt and execute your seo strategies while the basic skills and knowledge are still important your brain needs to be flexible to adapt to rapid change. Thinking outside the box will be more important than ever. The business opportunities are still there, and some have changed, some have gotten bigger, some have gotten smaller, but they might not be exactly where they were before, right? And uh, think of this too, uh, it's a terrible statistic uh, on one side and then an opportunity on the other. 27 percent of all small businesses have closed roughly uh, in the entire United States since in the last year since this the response to the virus right not the virus itself but the response so um, so that's 27 percent of all businesses that were providing product services and solutions to business owners and entrepreneurs so now they're gone but those uh, other people still need their services met, right? So there's actually a larger opportunity for companies that have survived and can pivot, okay? So uh, it will also be important to be proactive in 2021. Maybe this is more of a uh, of a theme or a mindset than a trend, but seeing it as a recognized need and something many are arriving at, to me, is going to make it a trend. Now is the time to get organized, build a plan, develop a process, and get ahead. 
uh, a shift to more strategic SEO will be critical to stay relevant and stay top of mind for consumers' attention in 21. I recommend pivoting your approach from a singular focus or just consumer behavior to a dual process that involves understanding the market in which the consumer operates first. So have a better understanding of what what is actually going on in the marketplace, not what you want to go on, not what you think is going to go on, not what you believe will go on in the future, but what is actually going on and in, 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 in focus on that. And take a more strategic and blended approach to understanding what's happening in the market where where the demand has shifted historically and where it has changed in real times. Take a consultant approach to understand how economic, social, uh, you know, psychological and physiological factors impact search demand and then look to understand consumers' behavior and intent on a granular level. Utilize all tools, plat tools platforms, and sources of business intelligence uh, at your disposal. Now, that's important. Now, see, I'm reading from bits that I wrote because I wanted to stay laser focused and then I'll ad lib. Everything I read is in the description below, as is some free tips, uh, free, uh, you know, seven different um, PDFs that we put together, which are step by step for your on page SEO, how to build and, and maximize your YouTube, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, uh, Google My Business, and a whole host of others. Free link below, and also a free link for a consultation, as well, again, as the description of what I talked about. But uh, it's very important to understand that. People are searching differently, but when they're searching, it's more of an intent. They're looking for a solution to a problem or a service or a product specifically, right? Uh, whereas it's different from disruptive uh, marketing, like when you're over on Facebook and you're putting up ads, right? Uh, that's different because people are scrolling by and you have to catch their attention. You have to disrupt them then can you know whatever your disruption was has to be enough to that hook has to be enough to get them to be interested to read or listen to your story if it's a video and then the offer has to be compelling enough but that's a lot of steps right uh whereas when you're on the search engines somebody is searching either what's the best pizza place in boston um you know a uh, life coach in 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 massachusetts or whatever they're searching for uh, how to develop better communication skills uh, what makes a good leader how can i develop my leadership skills now if you're a leadership coach or you provide those type services you want to come up for those type of uh, searches. No one's searching for you by name or by your company's name because they don't know your name or your company's name. If they did, they just pick up the phone and call you, right? So um, you have to come up for the service products and solutions you provide. And a quick little note here, 89 cents of every dollar spent online is spent through the search engines. 11 cents of every dollar spent online is spent through social media. And I mean every social media platform combined, every lotion, potion, course, you know, I'll make you $10 million and you'll have all these fancy Lamborghinis and just buy my $7 course, right? And that's all you need. But all that combined makes up 11 cents. So I'm not saying don't do social media. I'm not saying don't do disruptive. What I am saying is focus on your intent-based marketing. When people are actually looking, they have the intent to buy what you're looking for. It's just a matter of getting in front of them and conveying your value to them. Whereas over here, you have to break their attention. You, you know, it's a whole different ballgame. So, and then just take whatever you're doing on the uh, search engines and then just share it on social media for free. It doesn't cost you anything, right? So um, most times, I mean, if you're gonna do paid ads, of course that will cost you. Uh, but anyhow, so um, my name is Ron Coleman, RCS Online Solutions. Uh, the world has changed and in 2021, you're going to have to spend a lot more time assessing, adapting and executing on your SEO. So please go back and, and read the information below. It's a little more concise. Uh, you know, I tend to go off and, and ad lib, which I think is a good thing because it comes from experience opposed to some written words. And I go out and, and I listen into, in you know, dozens of um experts and, and 
uh, videos and podcasts and I read, you know, hundreds of articles a, a month, right? And uh, so the information I get, you know, and I'm giving to you is is really done after a ton of research added in with the ex personal experience and what we do for our clients. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it would for you to mirror and match that, I mean, it's like, uh, it would be very difficult. So uh, take advantage of it. It's totally free. Ron Kuming, RCS Online Solutions. Please let me know if you need any help with any part of your online marketing, either creating it, updating it. We guarantee that we'll get you uh, on the first page of the search engines organically uh, before you even pay us. I don't know who else makes those um, guarantees, right? But if we don't get you ranked, if we don't get you the results that we promise you, you don't pay us. We don't deserve to be paid, right? You know, we're not, you're not here to pay us for our time. You're here to pay us for the results that we agreed to, right? So uh, I hope you have a great day. Feel free to reach out to me, Ron at RCS Online Solutions. Have a great day. Bye for now.